got a crane chiller here. I think I just locked that again. Yeah. I got it reset. That should start number one back up, but basically we've got suction temperature too high on circuit two. And that keeps dropping me out. I'll reset it again, see if I can show you guys. But basically, let's see. You can go into here to our evaporator on circuit two. It's showing me a 79 degree um, suction temperature. We're not reading 79 degrees. I, I just shoved my hand on it. And it's not an 80 degree temperature. So what happens is, it's circuit one, but this is a temperature sensor here. And they go bad and don't read correct, so we're gonna have to find the suction temperature for circuit two. Um, these are the EVs down here, electronic expansion valves. Um, we're gonna locate our suction temperature. And I think we got a sensor going bad. We'll have to replace the sensor. But I just want to show you guys what I had going on today. So, let's see if I can get any more video. See what happens. So, again, 79 degree suction temperature. We just verified at this point. 53 degree actual suction temperature. So, the sensor I was looking at. That, that's my stage one. That's what made me think this was stage one, but it's not because it goes right here. <clears throat> stage two. So there's our sense involved. Let's see if I can warm it up and what it does over here. Seems like it's acting right. We might try to get some, uh, got some heat conducting the paste that I can put on there. It's supposed to have some on it. It don't look like it's got a whole lot at all. You can see some residual of that gray, but we're gonna pull that out of there and see if I can get it to read right before I go changing the sensor. We've got some Honeywell heat conductive compound. We're gonna give this a shot. sensors on this thing or sensors going bad 52 <clears throat> and showing 82 so let's go see if we can't get a sensor I was gonna at least go get one anyway so I had it on site because this is cooling for the entire building so it can't be down for long um, we gotta make sure we have the ability to fix it we're almost to the weekend so i want to have a sensor on hand anyway so we'll see what it's reading when we get back so i think we got it figured out here um we have to unbind and then rebind so we're gonna find our suction temperature sensor number two and click unbind and then we'll be able to take our sensor off got our new sensor ready we're just going to unplug. This is the old sensor. And our new sensor. And now, we're going to put the heat transfer paste on there too. Uh, and then we'll go 
to band. And I believe we're gonna have to got LEDs on the back of this thing. So you gotta take a magnet and see my LED now and just run a magnet across it. It says the south pole of a magnet. I'm not sure which pole was south, but I just used my magnet on the back of my meter. And it couldn't read the device. Now it should that we've got it turned on. Still not reading. So we're going to get this reading here and make sure our temperature reads correctly and we'll start to chill it back up make sure everything's good took a few minutes but success suction temperature little green smiley face so that should be good so we're going to go back to our original view and let it uh, load here and then we'll see how everything's read so we got the sensor bound um, I'm now reading 65 degrees and I'm just hanging in the outside air right now. I haven't installed the sensor yet, but uh, we're going to go back to our main screen and we're going to take the run inhibit off. So instead of being locked out, we're going to put it to auto. stage one um, we're gonna get our sensor installed here get some heat paste on it Stage two, suction temperature 55 degrees. So it is common for these sensors to go bad on these, basically any chiller. Uh, they have a lot of sensor issues, but it can't decide what it wants to do when it can't see the suction temperature or uh, anything else. So the expansion valve closes down and once it gets so high, it shuts everything down. So uh, let me know what y'all think. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more, and we'll see y'all on the next one.